Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be exploring the town of Chama, New Mexico. Chama is located along the northern part of New Mexico, right along the Colorado border. There's a lot of choices of places where you can stay there in Chama. Like there's uh, motels, there's B&Bs, there's little cabins that you can rent. But I think one of my favorite places that we stayed was the Rio Chama RV Park. We stayed right on the Chama River. We camped right on the Chama River. And that was really, really cool. It's so beautiful and so serene to just sit there right at your campsite and have the, the river running right along in front of you. There was a lot of days that I just uh, sat out there and had my coffee and, and just enjoyed the watching the river go by. The RV park is really convenient to town. It's within walking distance. We ate here at the Boxcar Cafe several times. We also ate at the historic Foster's Hotel several times. Both had really good food. One of the main attractions is the Cumbries and Toltec Railroad and Depot. The railroad is named after the Cumbries Pass and the Toltec Gorge. They're getting them all warmed up for the day. We rode the train on one of their day trips. It was so much fun. The views of the Rocky Mountains are really gorgeous. I think they travel in and out of Colorado and New Mexico. <laughs> There's a lot of forest roads in the area and places where you can hike. You can hike trails all the way deep into the forest if you want. You can hike with the bears if you want and you can hike with the elk like we did if you want. So we might get rained out. We're going to check it out and see. I decided to take a little break here and just enjoy the view. So I'm going to take a break and just sit up here for a few minutes and enjoy this view. Gorgeous view of the valley down. You see the valley down back there behind me? We took the road right up to the Cumbers Pass, and if you time it just right, you can meet the train at the top. We hiked around up here where it met up with part of the Continental Divide Trail. Look at this. It's so peaceful. All the wildflowers in bloom. We ran across some old buildings here. I'm not sure if this is, 
I think this is probably still railroad property. So are these railroad buildings? Are these part of the railroad property here? You don't know? These buildings over here are, right? Yes. Whatever it was, it wasn't very big, but look at that, it's a log cabin. This is the other side of it. That's neat. Go inside, I'll take your picture. Ah, oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the next day we drove into Colorado to Pagosa Springs for lunch at Pike's Deli. Another day trip, we drove into Taos where we explored a couple of their museums and checked out the town. We never ran out of things to do. I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what it's like in Chalma, and uh, I hope you go and visit there sometime. Let me know if you've been there too and what you guys like about it. We will catch up with you down the road. Talk to you later. Bye.